Okay, so I have drugstore singles and K-beauty singles. I just decided to combine the two because I don't have that many. So let's get started. Okay, these three are from Sally Beauty. Uh, these two are Femme Couture. This is Palladio. Palladio you can get Ulta also. So from Femme Couture, we have Chai Latte on the left and Downtown Brown on the right. I really like these, but I just feel like I don't reach for drugstore singles that often um, unless I'm thinking of something specific. So I'm going to pro Okay, I'm gonna say these are all amazing formulas, but I'm probably gonna declutter all three of these. And this is Palladio's Bronzy. All really, really good. And those are swatches. So Chai Latte, Downtown Brown, and Bronzy. Next, we've got Catrice. These are the liquid metal shadows. This one is Nougat It Right, and this is We Are the Champagnes. And then this is a Glam Fusion in Let's Go Brown Town. And the formula of this is a little like almost liquidy. It's interesting because those are called liquid metals, but they're actually drier. And then this is like very smooth. I mean, the formula is great. I just, again, I just don't, I feel like something has to be really unique. I feel like I might end up keeping just a whole bunch of duo chromes. Let's go Brown Town, which is that one. It actually has a bit of a shift. Next are three from Topshop. This is actually a highlighter, but because of the color and the way it shifts, I have it in my eyeshadow collection. This is Wax and Wayne, and this is Shuffle the Cards. Close up of the highlighter and the singles. And those are swatches. They are very, very shifty. I believe there's two more in the lineup for the Topshop eyeshadows. I'm probably gonna pick them up. They are absolutely stunning. Whenever you want to kind of do something different with your eye makeup, I highly recommend these. Right now, when I checked yesterday, they're like $9, and I think they're usually maybe double that, maybe 16, something like that. Okay, so with kind of duochromes, I really want to make sure you can see the shift like really beautiful this is a l'oreal galaxy lumiere eyeshadow it's holographic and it's in the shade crescent moon you can see the shift in it there's a swatch i believe i've only seen this at ulta uh, i think the crushed foil collection is at walmart and then this one i've seen at ulta so maybe they kind of split off where they distributed these collections this is one of the L'Oreal Infallibles in Gleaming Bronze. This was limited edition. Um, it's the ones that look like this. I have a backup of this. I think I've decluttered every shadow that looks like this, but I've kept this shade because it is stunning. And there's a swatch of that. It's like this khaki green bronze perfection. So keeping that. Okay, shifting to K-Beauty shadows. So these are all Nature Republic. They're really pretty. I'll uh, give you close-ups of each one. This is number 12. This is kind of like a flaky foil one. Really gorgeous. This is 27. It has, it's orange with a slight gold shift. 35. 43 and 44. Okay, and there are swatches. I kind of think I'm gonna keep all of these these are like i mean the last one on the right is just like so stunning uh maybe i can get rid of i think maybe oh i don't know this one this one is less unique or maybe the orange that i wouldn't reach for as much i don't i mean this is like summer only I don't know. Okay, I've decided to get rid of just the center shade. Okay, I <laughs> did not do very good here. That last one though, how beautiful is that? Like, for like a no makeup bronzy eye? Okay, moving on to two Japanese eyeshadows. This one's from Excel, and this one is by Majolika Majorca. This has been in my collection for so long, I really just <laughs> need to get rid of it. Like, I never reach for it, I just keep it because like this packaging is just so gorgeous. Like it looks like a little perfume bottle. Actually, maybe I can keep it for like decor. 
Okay, I think I'm gonna do that. That'll be so cute. Okay, and then this one I picked up when I was in Singapore or Hong Kong. Um, but I really love the shadow, so keeping this one. From what I can tell, it says MSO3. So, I mean, obviously everything will be linked below or at least listed below. And those are swatches. Next up are three shadows. They're the Jelly Pong collection from Apu. Apu? I think that's how you pronounce it. It's part of like Misha's family. So these are like very like soft and smooth. So from left to right, we have five, three, and six. Three is something, it's the first one I got and I really love this. They are so smooth. They're like, they're like gels. And those are the swatches, five, three, and six. I think I'm going to declutter the first one. Five doesn't really show up on me. I mean, it just washes me out a little. So three and six we're keeping. Okay, so this is an Echo Soul eyeshadow from The Same. And just, ugh, gorgeous. Like one of those gel powder formulas. It is in the shade number two. There's a swatch. This one's really pretty. You could do this as like a one shadow eye look because when you have it on the lid, you get that purple, but when you blend it out on the edge, you get like a, like an orangey tan. It's like really pretty. This is the first set of eyeshadows from Bia that I'm gonna share with you. Um, I have shades two, three, and four. Okay, so I can't read Korean, but I will list everything obviously in order of appearance. So this is the first set. So two, three, and four. I wanna keep the first and the third one for sure because I like those colors, but I also feel like they're not that unique and I'm just keeping them because they're like K-Beauty. So maybe I'm just gonna keep the first one on the left. No, um, I really like that last shade. Okay, we'll just get rid of the center one. Okay, so the second set of Bia shadows, we have numbers four, five, and 10. And there they are close up. Uh, the far right has an, a beautiful shift that you don't see in the pan. And those are the swatches. Because the shift is subtle, I actually think it looks better on the lid. You know how sometimes when you wear duochrome, it's like of all the colors that are in there, the kind of the one that you like the least is the one that shows up on your eye. At least that's what I've experienced. So I'm going to declutter the first two, even though... I mean, you cannot beat K-Beauty. Uh, I have less experience with J-Beauty, but K-Beauty eyeshadows, the finish and formula is like where it really stands out. There's not like, oh my God, unique shades, but the way they do like shimmer is like unrivaled. Like I think in the US, we haven't really mastered it the way <laughs> They do. It's like the way it feels and the way it looks and the way it applies. It's just smooth and beautiful and it feels really easy. Okay, last item from Bia. This is a loose pigment. And I put some in the cap so you could see. I hope. This is number four. You know, I really like it, but I'm just going to declutter it because, you know, loose and less likely to use it, but it is stunning. Let me see if I can blend it out even more because that's like a brush swatch. So when you blend it out further, wow, really beautiful. This is probably another one of those things you could do like one eye look if you were going for kind of sparkly and smoky. Okay, these are shadows from Amok, A-M-O-K, -okay, or is it Amok? -okay? I really have no idea, but they're the Love Fit line, and they're kind of that bouncy, jelly, well, maybe they're not bouncy, they're just kind of like a cream formula. So you have E-008 and E-370, and those are swatches. I mean, Smooth City, keeping both. Okay, so on the left is the declutter. This is the one I'm keeping just to like as dis like decor purposes and those are all the keeps. I think I did pretty good here. Like I'm very impressed with this and I'm happy about this because I don't reach for singles that often. Like I have to like think about it um, 
so also there's this goal of putting it in my collection in a way that I see it so I remember because there are some absolutely beautiful stunning jewel gem need to have type eyeshadows here and I'm excited to start using them again because the thing with singles is I get one uh, and then I'll use it for like a month it'll be sit on my vanity and I'll use it and then I'll think okay I have to switch it out so hopefully you know this will get more use now